Hello there, in this video I'm going to teach you how to install Stable Diffusion. First of all, you're going to head over to this Hugging Face link, which is for Stable Diffusion XL Base 1.0. Once you're here, you're going to scroll all the way down till you find these three files. Over here, what you want to download is this first one which is 6.94 GBs. And you're also going to be downloading this example LoRa model. It's optional installing this, but it is in much space and it, and it is going to increase your image quality. So it's better if you install both of these. So download these two. And after that, you're going to head over to the next link, which is for the Stable Diffusion Excel Refiner. Over here, you're going to scroll all the way down again and download one of these. One of them is the VAE file, but we're just going to download the normal one, which is 6.8 GB. Now, this is going to take some time based on your internet. So, once you're done, you're going to head over to the folder that you downloaded all of these into. I already downloaded mine. So, after that, make a folder, name it models or whatever. Just save these three somewhere safe. And what you're going to do is copy the base and the definer. And you're going to paste it into the place where you have your stable diffusion web UI. You're going to go into that folder, scroll down to models, then to stable diffusion, and paste it in. Keep in mind, if you install the VAE files, you have to paste them in over here. You're going to head over back to this, into models again. And over there, you're going to create a new folder, which you're going to name Laura. After that, you're going to paste in the other Laura model that you installed, which is this one that's smaller in size, this one. The example dot Laura, just copy it or cut it and paste it into the Laura folder that you created. Once it's all done, you're going to head over to the stable diffusion web UI folder, go all the way down, and then just hit the web UI or web UI user dot that. And this is going to take a while, so just wait for it. And once that's done, it should open in your browser, but in case it doesn't, you can find the link and run locally over here. Now, once you have the Stable Diffusion web UI open, you're going to select your Stable Diffusion checkpoint to SDXL base underscore one by those dot safe dinners. Just select this. Wait for it to process. I'm just going to enter up a very simple prompt or your negative prompt. You can either hit control and enter to generate write up whatever you want. I'm keeping it extremely simple, as I said. After that, you're going to scroll down, change your sampling method to Euler A. For the sampling steps, we're keeping 20 as it is. Under that, you're going to select the width. 1024 by 1024 so you will get better images as you see as you see we generated one in 512 by 512 and we didn't really get the best result so we're going to adjust the settings to 1024 by 1024 after that you're going to change the cgf scale to 7 if it isn't 7 already you're going to generate a random seed or you can enter your own one and for the script we're keeping it none as default after that you're going to hit control plus enter to generate and wait for it to happen it will take some time depending on how fast your gpu is you can see the progress in the cmd window open here now that we've actually generated the image using the resolution that this model was trained for you can see that the images are tremendously better that sums up the video. Thank you for watching and goodbye.